This week, we're going to focus on the outcome of the US election and its implications for markets and client portfolios. So I think a big question following the election of Donald Trump as president has been why haven't we seen more volatility in markets? And I think the reason for that is that in the run-up to the vote, uh, commentators had focused on the negatives of a, of a Trump win and, and they described, in fact, the two candidates as the two most unpopular candidates ever. So initially, we did see some volatility in markets, in particular in the Japanese market, which was open as the result in the US became more apparent. So that market fell and closed down by about 5%. However, the following morning, when the FTSE 100 opened, it too was down about 2% initially, but within a matter of hours, as it became apparent that the US market would open up, it recovered that loss. In fact, Japan also recovered the loss, its loss the following day. So what do we see as the positives of a Trump administration? I think it can be characterized by a lack of negatives. So under Clinton, we expected more business regulation, particularly in the pharmaceutical uh, industry. Uh, with Trump, we expect less regulation in pharmaceuticals, we expect less regulation in the financial services industry, and we expect lower corporate tax rates. In addition, we expect a substantial amount of infrastructure spend. All this should, should boost US growth and should be positive for the US stock market. So I think we ne need to offset the positives with a couple of negatives. I think the first is how will Trump pay for the infrastructure spend? And I think that means the, uh, an increase in the US deficit by about half a trillion uh, US dollars. I think the other negatives are the concern about what's going to happen to Janet Yellen. Will Trump replace her or will he allow her to complete her term, which ends at the beginning of 2018? So we could end up with somebody in the Federal Reserve who has a different policy or different view to, to Yellen on the path of interest rates. So how has the Trump election impacted our House view? I don't think it's impacted it significantly. We still remain positive on risk assets. Um, and in particular, if we should see greater US economic growth, that should be positive for the US equity market, which should also generally be positive for, for global equity markets. Financing um, the infrastructure spend through increasing the de deficit could be negative for fixed income assets, as there is the expectation that rates would have to go up with this increase in debt. Our portfolios are well positioned for this, and in particular recently, we've been buying a number of alternative assets which can perform well in an environment of rising interest rates and improved economic growth. So what has Trump's election meant for our clients' portfolios? Generally in the day following the election, portfolios were roughly flat and that reflected the moves in both, or the sub subdued moves in both the bond and equity markets. In the year to date, clients' portfolios have, have performed strongly. The reason for that has been the weakness of sterling and the fact that clients' portfolios have been well diversified into um, overseas markets.